Hi folks, welcome back to Tony Creates and today we are going to be working on a concertina style journal. So I've already put the pages together and I've done one of the covers, one of the covers, this heck technically has two covers. So a concertina is just, you know what, a, a fan fold. So if you open, this is the front page and then the pages are like that. So you flip and then this will have the back cover and then you keep on flipping like that. So we get back to the front cover. So uh, this journal is eight by five inches. So I've done the front cover and I'm just doing the hinges with fabric. So I'm going to just show you how I do the back cover. <clears throat> so I just got to keep in mind of where I'm putting my hinge. My hinge has to come on this side. So I've got my piece of paper. Um, this is a, um, a digital journal uh, pad uh, that I got from um, Etsy and it is Len Art Studios. I'll put it in the link below. Sunflowers Junk Journal Kit. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, very reasonable comes with loads of ephemera uh, I've cut these all out I actually printed two page two the same page twice and it's just fabulous so we're gonna stuff this journal chock-a-block right now unfortunately I don't know how to print borderless I have to wait till my daughter comes back from Spain and show me how to print cool borderless because but anyway I kind of worked out so this 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 page is just the dark darker version of this page this is the orientation so I'm just gonna have the light version on the front and the darker version on the back so because I can't put it this way I've got to put it this way and my cover is going to be like that so it, it, it's not really directional and in in this one I've got this butterfly uh, in the front cover I've got this butterfly so I might just try and shift it a bit the thing is you've got to have got to give yourself some border to wrap around your card but I think that's enough so I'm just looking I want to get the big butterfly in uh, get this butterfly so that butterfly we don't have um, so let me just flip it like that so we've got that nice sunflower <coughs> um, actually this is we have this is the butterfly we have so I need to get this butterfly no do I have I'm just trying to look so I've got that sunflower that butterfly okay so if I shift it over a bit it makes it a little bit different okay so we want to get that butterfly so that's that's kind of where I want it so I'm just going to take you can take a tool like this you can take your bone folder you can take the back of a butter knife it doesn't matter and I'm just scoring it where I want it so I'm just and also just tilling the paper this is where you're going to be folded okay and then when I flip it over I can see well I could when I didn't have all these lights shining um, see where my <coughs> what you call it so let me just see if I just move this up a bit that's a bit better um, just blinds me I can see my lines okay now what I am using is I'm using double-sided tape because I don't want this um, to be wrinkly and the glue can especially when you're gluing such a large surface it can make it a bit it can warp the paper a bit uh, and I put, printed this on on uh, printer paper and the ephemera I printed on cardstock um, so that's great so I'm just going as close to the edge as I can 
and this is just a stamping block that I use to rip off a straight straight line so I can get it this is a trick I learned from May May at May 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 made it if you want to go and she's on YouTube she's a uh, more of a like a card maker and that so but I love her style her style and her spirit yeah so I don't know how your day has been mine's been full of disappointments but learning to deal learning to deal yeah so anyway I'm quickly doing this before my connect ladies come okay we're gonna have connect group we're making origami butterflies for our for a focal point on our journal covers and then <coughs> we'll be starting a new project um, which I will be filming so I'll get to practice at connect group and film <laughs> so you guys won't see my uh, my oh this doesn't work <laughs> you'll get to see the oh look at this fabulous job isn't she a genius <laughs> not really oh, come on why won't this this come up there we go yeah so there we go come on this in the bin right now this stuff you cannot pick it up once it's laid down so you need to you need to make sure you are putting it down in the right spot now I am going to I'm going to just switch this light off so I can maybe get rid of some of the glare so I can no, that doesn't work either way there we go so I'm just I'm just when you when you're aligning uh, um, lines up look for the corner so you can get your paper down there and down there okay I don't know if I got it exactly okay let me switch this light back on and just smooth it out i got this paper it's it's a nice thickish paper but it's got like a sort of a gloss on it and sometimes it feels to me like the ink wants to lift up anyway it looks like i more or less got it in the right spot now i am just going to tear off some of this excess it's kind of giving it an inch is that an inch anyway just sort of don't need all this We can use that for something else. Uh, uh, there we go. <coughs> right now, we are just um, just cutting like a just cutting that corner off. So just get some of that bulk off. Oopsie, I'm cutting sticky stuff with my scissors not to be done people okay and just cut that off and cut that off so just getting that bulk now I'm going to stick this on stick the tape on this edge to make sure it's down that couldn't find for a sec so I'm just sticking it down and where's my block here's my block and nice thing with a block is you can you can tear angles now look here oh my goodness I didn't, didn't give myself enough space here so I'm going to get my my narrow tape I got this this one and what I will do is I will actually Oopsie. Ugh. 
Ecke. Jetzt geht das on the edge. Okay. Right, folks, I'm going to fast forward the rest of this so you've got the gist of it. Because this one's narrow, I'm going to put two strips on here. Um, you got the gist of it and then I'll get back to you and show you how to attach it to your pages. <laughs> Stuck all those down and I want to show you how, don't go, I was about to take all of them off. And then you're going to get a bit sticky is I bend it. This is Pam at the outpost, showed this. Bend it over like that, and then you get a nice. This is paper, so it's it, it, it folds nice and easily. If it was cardstock, you would have to be um, probably score down the side more. But this this chipboard that I got is is really thick chipboard, so I didn't want to use cardstock. But if you're using, say now you were using a cereal box. Um, then, you know, I would cover it in cardstock. So this way you kind of folding it where it wants to go. And then you need to just check your corners. Okay, they are cut, actually probably cut away too much. We'll see. And don't, uh, don't stress if you actually stick if you stick your you see I've got my tape on top of the other tape it just folds away nicely and where you've got bits sticking out just stuck them back in and they'll be grand okay right check my corners this one is a little bit over here so I'm just gonna push that in just push it in fold it in like that Come, come. Right now, are we gonna put it like that? I think like that way. That way looks better. We've got a different thing now. I'm going to stick the inside because now this would be on the inside, and it. This is a paper that I. It was like this and I just cut it in half and I had enough and I've inked around the edges already so it's just going to go and cover up all the the whiteness now I just want to have a ch double check so if this goes like this my, my covers going like that so I want to make sure that this is the right way around no this way and that it comes to this edge edge comes to this edge so it doesn't really matter if we have a bit of white showing through there because our materials coming on top there but just kind of see okay that's how I want it to go and it's coming on there so just in case we get some of that white showing through I'm just going to ink it up just to be sure to be sure make be on the rather be on the safe side than on there we go okay and then I'm going to use tape again Okay, now double check I'm this way up my covers going on like that so this is the right way um, I know I've got space on the top okay we got it down and there we go 
okay so now we have this cover ready to go on here whoops okay so we're putting it on here all right where's my material so here is these are just an inch uh, inch and a quarter strips that I just tore I got this on a jelly roll on the internet and it might be I don't know it's quilting fabric <clears throat> so right now I'm going to stick on this over here so I'm just turning it around so I can make sure my material does have a right and a wrong thing and I've <clears throat> you can see I haven't cut this I haven't cut the material exact so it's going to have these hanging over which gives it character I feel otherwise it can be just look like paper stuck together uh, where's my toxic glue oh, here it is I need jockey if my finger rots off you know why um, I actually saw this for my Irish friends I saw that uh, arts and hobby have this glue I don't think I got it at arts and hobby uh, it dries very quickly so you got to you got to get your finger in there quickly <clears throat> okay so sticking that down what I like I would like having about the little bit extra you see it does this it's so when it does that <coughs> I've got this uh, Faber-Castell eraser and the one side is like a sand eraser so you can just come and get this glue off here I wouldn't try it on this paper of mine because it feels like the it'll just sand the ink right off the paper okay So we'll come and work on that a bit just now <clears throat> when it's dry because this is what's happening okay now uh, okay so we're going like this we're gonna go like that and we're gonna stick this on like that so I'm just gonna open my pages so I can think and now we need to make sure that we have a gap in here because if we don't have a gap we won't have space to fold and we won't have you see that little bit of a spine so it, it so the page is like that instead of being like that if you understand it gives it a bit of room so and uh, see this one as well it's it's got like a sixteenth of an inch so if you don't have a gap you're not going to be able to close your page so I'm just gonna I'm just fold in this back so I can okay double check folks this is going this way so this is the upside that's the upside that's the upside okay we're great so I'm gonna put a glue on this side I'll show you the paper pack now that I got this is a paper pad that I got at the range Okay, so we're lining up you and make sure we're lining up the bottom there, giving ourselves a an eighth of an inch. Um, I saw somebody use a wasn't for this for this specific type of journal, but use something as a measure if you can't eyeball it. Uh, mind him out the way. Okay, so he's down. Get these glue bits off here. Where's my tweezers? Lost somewhere. Take a new one. Okay. Right, let's put some glue down and get our other strip down. Oh, 
whoops and then just smoosh with the, the best tool in the world things with this glue you can't really go up and down because it it goes like it dries so fast and then we can lay it down now I will come after with my tacky glue if there's bits that are, are lifting up I might put a little bit of glue underneath look here you see it does this anyway I shall fight with it later that's all coming off my finger folks that's why it's not my favorite glue it certainly sticks the fabric down there okay I shall come and deal with this when it's all dry okay so these are these <laughs> don't stick it in it <laughs> let me get a let me get a wet wipe and just wipe up the glue there we go okay now I need to dry it okay so I'm just double checking okay so you can see so now this will be technically is the back um, I'm gonna lay it aside to dry and then you just open it okay so I'm gonna leave it open to dry and then when it's dry we can come back and do bendy bendy and sort out all this glue that's that's misbehaving it's just there we go let me show you the paper pack that I got this from while that's drying he has all the the bits and pieces that I've got left over from my paper so I haven't stuck them in my scraps pile yet because we might use these to make pockets and stuff so this is it follow the sun I just love this this paper pack let me see if I can zoom you out a bit oh, wrong way so this is a uh, it's craft sensations follow the sun and of course this this lady I wanted to use this and then I don't know why I ended up using the other one but I think I might I think I cut these the wrong size that's why so I think this this paper pack has uh, two of each oh you have some nice uh, journaling cards you see the thing is because this this uh, um i want this to be a a, a a prayer journal these i want lots of these little things to just write down a prayer so you can come back afterwards and see have my prayers been answered and this journal is i'm making for a gorgeous young lady who follows the sun s-o-n and you know that sunflowers follow the sun during the day so we used to on our way back from Petersburg or it's now Polokwane uh, up to Pretoria or Gauteng Pretoria and Gauteng um, we'd, we'd pass these huge sunflower fields and if you went like did a day trip you'd when you were going in the morning they'd be facing one direction and then when you came back in the evening they'd be facing the other direction so they'd followed the sun so this is this is a gorgeous paper pad really I love it so there's definitely more than one journal in here so yeah so it's two is it two two um, this is this one's great I love this the little bit of purple so and we've got all these leftovers so we can I've done some pockets already let me get this out here's my see I'm I'm getting a an ephemera stash oh have I not finished the pocket no, I haven't finished the pocket yet oh, here we go here it is 
so this is a pocket I did just a little bit of lace and a crocheted butterfly that I did and some uh, uh, punch butterflies so we can put this pocket in so you can see um, we this is like a gist fit up there so I might actually just leave that so we've got to find a spot for this is this nearly dry no it's not okay so we will have to leave that for for next video so I've got these ephemeras and I've got all of these to put in so it's just a question now of making some pockets so next video will be with the pockets and um, deciding how we're going to what closure we're going to use we need to decide what closure we're going to use we need to decide what we're going to decorate the covers now because it's got two two covers you've got to kind of decorate it as flat as possible although the covers are card so writing on the pages shouldn't be an issue and I have my turmeric dyed paper to put in here so I can put in a lot of uh, writing paper so that's the start of our sunflower journal I hope you can journal along with me and it's really easy if you don't have uh, material to do your hinges then um, you can use paper you don't need to use material you can use paper um, well not paper like cardstock you know something substantial you can use uh, masking tape you can double two pieces of masking tape you know our painting masking tape we did in the other video you can paint masking tape and use masking tape so this is the easiest way to to um, journal if you want to look at a great uh, scrappy uh, concertina journal uh, look at Gail Agostinelli's video she has got a great one where she's actually collaged book pages I think or something so she basically created her own paper pages anyway folks thanks for watching watching this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one cheerio now